This guitar on my lap, this is a new guitar from Taylor. It is another GT Grand Theater model. And I told you so. I'll tell you all about it. Check it out. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to visit our Teespring store linked below for our custom designed t-shirts. Also feel free to visit our website, buy some stuff from us, and we're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We appreciate everyone in the community clicking that subscribe button and helping us out. So, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so, and I had, I promise you, no inside information whatsoever, but if you recall, on a previous video we did introducing the new Taylor Grand Theater, or GT, which we'll link to above there, I mentioned that I suspected Taylor would probably take this all solid wood US made guitar and expand it somehow in their lineup, and I really didn't know how they were going to do that, if it was going to be kind of like the GS Mini line where you had GS Minis and GS Mini Koas, or really what they were going to do, but surely it was such a good guitar, they had to do something more in the line with it, with some additional woods. Now further uh, kind of look into that came when we looked at the label for those first GT models, and they were labeled GTE Urban Ash or GT Urban Ash. And so that was also an indicator that more woods would be coming. Well, this is that and more because what I'm holding is the GT811E. So if you're paying attention, this is a GT body shape. It's an 800 series, and the 11 indicates the body shape numeric uh, kind of indicator that this is getting. So if you're not familiar with Taylor's numbering kind of system, the, uh, the first number is the series. And so you have a three series, 400 series, 500 series, and so on. The second number indicates the top of the wood. If it's a soft wood like spruce or cedar and it's a six string guitar, it gets a one. If it's a 12 string guitar with a soft wood, it gets a five. And then if it's a hard wood like koa or mahogany, it gets a two if it's six string and a six if it's a 12 string. Following along so far? So that would put this at an eight one, which would be an 800 series with a spruce top. And then the last number indicates the body shape. And so now we know that the GT is the one body shape, or people usually like to call a Grand Auditorium of 14 or 24 or something like that. So that's what this would be. It's an 811. Officially, Taylor's calling it a GT811E, which is, yeah, it's a little redundant, but nevertheless, it's a good guitar, so we'll let them pass. So it is a GT body shape. Now, if you haven't seen that video yet, click on that link that I showed you, and then it'll open up in a new window. You can watch that and come back to it. If you don't want to do that, I'll just give you the highlights. This is an entirely new body shape from Taylor, designed by Andy Powers. It's actually been in the works for a bit, and they introduced it earlier this year with the GTE and GT Urban Ash models. Now, those guitars are more affordable options, priced kind of around where the American Dream guitars that were also released this year are, and with very similar specs to it. Um, what's really unique about these guitars is the body shape and kind of the in-betweener aspect to all of the specs on this guitar and the unique bracing. So let's talk about the body shape first of all. It's bigger than a GS Mini. It's different from a Grand Concert. It's full-size-ish. It's basically a full-size guitar, but it's a smaller body, and it is definitely Taylor-esque in its aesthetics and its design. It doesn't really look like a typical kind of sloped shoulder parlor guitar would, but that is definitely, you know, kind of the category that this guitar is playing in. Now, the bracing for this is different than what we've seen on the rest of their U.S. models, which is the V-class bracing. Instead, in this little guitar, it's using C-class bracing, which is a cantilever design. Effectively, it's kind of like half of a V-class bracing. There's a single brace coming all the way up on one side, and then it's asymmetrical. And this is allowing the top, that's really a smaller top on the guitar, 
to move more. There's also some unique attributes when we look inside the guitar. Typically, the back and the sides and the top would be uh, connected to each other using what's called kerfling, which is basically wood that has cuts in it, kerfed wood, that allows it to bend. In this particular case, though, when you look inside, you see solid, uh, really kind of guitar, the word binding's incorrect, and it's not kerfling. Um, but it's, it's solid wood that's holding the back sides and the top together. When I asked Andy Powers about this during the introduction of the GT model, it was to basically allow more vibration and, and more tightly integrate and stiffen the sides to the top and the back, which is pretty cool and something that you typically see on a higher end guitar. Solid wood guitar lining is what it's called, I remember. Now, the back and sides for an 800 series are East Indian Rosewood. Very beautiful. It's bound in maple, and the top is Sitka Spruce. So far, a lot of the appointments that you're seeing are very much like a normal 800 series, including the inlay up the neck. But of course, like I said, the body shape is different and the bracing is different. The whole idea behind that bracing is to get as much volume, resonance, just kind of oomph out of this small body guitar as possible. And it certainly delivers. It is a very full sounding little guitar in much the same way that a GS Mini was. And so this answers the question that many of us asked for a long time. Can we get an all solid wood GS Mini? Effectively, that's what Taylor's done here. They've made it a little bit bigger. They've given it all solid wood construction and new bracing in order to give you the maximum volume and potential out of such a small body guitar. Now, the rest of the in-betweener specs are found in the scale length and the neck of the guitar. So as we've talked about before, the scale length of the guitar is longer than a GS Mini and shorter than their typical full scale guitar lengths. It's basically sitting in the middle there. The nut width is as well. So where you might see one and three quarter inch nut width on a full size Taylor guitar that's made in the USA, uh, their GS Minis have one and 11 sixteenths. And this is sitting right in, the, in that fractional difference between those two. The neck shape is very comfortable. It is unique to the grand theater body shape. And then the rest of the appointments are typical 800 series like the smoked nickel tuners. Um, now, one thing to note that's different from this guitar than a typical 800 series is that there's no binding on the fretboard. So you've got your black nut that would typically be used on any V-class guitar we've been seeing. Um, and usually you would see the maple binding following along with the, the neck on this case, or typically, but in this case it's not. It's, there's no binding on the neck, you just have the sides of the fretboard exposed, and that's perfectly fine for me. I think you know the setup's perfect, and it looks nice, and really that's what's important there. The neck carve is extremely comfortable on these guitars, and the scale length is something that you have to play one of these in order to experience, because it is, it is a joy to play. It really kind of finds that wonderful in-between spot where it's not too slinky, but it just feels really nice and feels really fast to play, honestly. Um, now, the fingerboard and bridge are ebony on this, as opposed to the eucalyptus that we saw on the other one. Um, and the other changes really come down to the price and the case that you get with this. So typically on an 800 series guitar, you're looking somewhere around the mid $3,000 range uh, for one of those guitars. This one uh, is actually coming in at $29.99 with the, uh, the ES2 equipped version and $27.99 if you get the version without pickups and opt to just go acoustic or put in your own pickup system. By the way, as a side note, if you do decide to go that route to put in your own pickup system, you might call us uh, or message us through our website and visit with us about what pickup system you wanna go into. And I say that only because since there's new bracing, and some pickups have kind of sound hole mounted preamps. There might be something to do with kind of being aware of that and where placement might go and pickup systems that would be more um, uh, in line with the construction of this guitar. So do keep those things in mind. You also get an arrow case with this instead of the typical hard shell case. Now the arrow case is definitely not a downgrade in any way. If you haven't had a chance to see one, they are extremely robust, very well built, beautiful, beautiful cases. Um, and so, you know, it's pretty cool that you're able to get an 800 series with these appointments um, at this great price uh, with that case. Very cool guitar and something a lot of us have been wanting for a while. I know that our Taylor Rep JR wants to have one under his tree for Christmas. We'll see if that happens. Uh, but these are supposed to be showing up in stores this month. So you might maybe be able to get your hands on one before the end of the year. 
Nevertheless, I'm going to put through its paces so you can hear for yourself how this sounds. And we're also going to do kind of a short little comparison with the original GTE Urban Ash that I also happen to have on hand. So you can hear the differences between that with the Urban Ash back and sides and this one with Rosewood. Check it out.
So there you have it. Taylor's new GT 811E has joined the fray. And if I was right about this, maybe there's some other woods coming, even some other series additions coming down the pipe. I'm not saying that I have any insider information. Even if I had some insider information, I'm not telling you yet. Um, but just keep your eyes and ears open. If there's been, if you like love the GTE since it was introduced, this one that I'm holding here, um, and you wanted something with say rosewood, well now you have it. If you're wanting something with a different wood, keep your eyes and ears open and tune to this channel because if Taylor comes out with it, you'll be sure that we will be telling you about it. So if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications, like our videos, and comment below. Let me, t let me know what you think about this new addition to Taylor's Body Shapes and this new addition to the series. You know, the 800 series has long been kind of their flagship, and this being the new body shape is a welcome addition to it. I do want to answer a question that a lot of you are going to be asking, and that is, why is there no armrest? Well, same reason that there wasn't on this one. It's just too small of a guitar. And so you might see the new armrest on the other 800 series. We already did a video talking about that change that's come. Uh, but this one, it's a little too small. Let's give it the real estate it needs so it can have that big, robust sound. So if you have any questions, make sure you visit our website, alamomusic.com. See all the information about this guitar, order information, specs, and chat with someone live. As always, I want to thank you for watching our videos. Remember, the very best guitar in the world is the one that you're comfortable playing and making music on. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.